Hello everyone, Obi Wan Dam here and welcome back to Let's Play Lords and Villains. In today's episode we have to take care of the flu issue that we have by building um, a, an apothecary down here and I think also a hospital. I'm not sure if we have enough clergy at the moment because uh, I think if we look at the clergy thing, um, we currently have three novices and I think the first one will become the bishop. Um, the second one should become the minister. Um, and this means we only have one additional monk available, which can then either be a nurse or the... Does, oh, doesn't the... I think it's the herbalist, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I think the herbalist is the one that runs the apothecary. Uh, so um, we, we are one monk short, which means we need to assign someone to clergy. But we will do this in a second. First thing I would like to do is answer one of the questions I had on the last video um, made by Jonathan. And he wanted to know two things. First of all, how do you get um, wine and beer into the inn? So you can see we already have beer in here. So what you need in the inn um, if you look at the zone, there are, these are all the, or if you just click on the zone, these are all the buildings that you need in the inn for it to work. And um, beer is sold at the bar. You can see it, um, down in the recipes menu, it says that one beer barrel, meat barrel and wine barrel is made into 30 pins, glasses or cups of the respective drink. And then this is sold at the, at the bar to the people. And to store that, you need barrel reels. What, uh, barrel, not small barrel, barrel rails, that's what it's called. So you need these, we have three of them. Um, and this is where the barrels are then stored. And then all you need to make sure really is that the person or the family running the inn has enough money to actually buy that and that you have it available for selling um, somewhere. You can either buy it from the caravans or what you can do is you can produce it yourself. For beer, that's in the peasants menu at the brewery. So you need a brewer profession, which we I think we already have that uh, somewhere all the way. Where's the brewery? Over here. So over here we have a brewery uh, with a brewer family um, and they will make beer barrels that you can see right here and they will sell that to the person running the inn. If you want wine or meat, you need to go to the clergy and have a cellar. A mining profession, we already have miners. Um, how many people are these? Three. They also own two cats. You know what? We will accept them and we'll make all three of these into, uh, into clergy people. Um, let's just quickly do that before I forget. Uh, let's go to the peasants. There's this family which just joined and we will send them off to clergy, all three of them. We need more of these people. All right, so now we have this. Um, okay, so back to clergy. So um, if you build a cellar, you can consume grapes, honey, firewood and planks to make wine and meat barrels. Um, the wine is made directly in the cellar, I think, at the trellis. And uh, the honey is made in the apiary. So you need a few people um, in your um, uh, in your clergy to be able to make that. And that's how you get this stuff into the um, yeah into the uh, into the inn. Um, okay, so that's that was the first question. And the second one was about the shortcuts. Um, for example, like uh, toggling the zone visibility and changing which type of bed I want to place. And um, the easiest info you, or the easiest way you get these is if, if you go to this um, to this button below the tutorial book, um, the first chapter is controls. And um, I'm on page three right now. You can see all of the shortcuts over here, like tap, hold to show zone visibilities or the circumflex, which is the button above the tap key left of the one. Um, that's here to toggle the visibility and then one, two, three in space for controlling the time. That's what I usually do. Um, for building controls, yeah, there are some things that you can do right here, which I most of the time I never use. Um, like this brush thing. I think that's for maybe building, uh, building trees or something. So if you go to production, uh, tree, and then you, you have your hold shift 
um, which will go to brush mode and then you can use the mouse wheel to increase or decrease the size so you can place multiple of these at the same time you can also do the same thing for building floor for example so if you go to floor spruce wood hold shift and increase the size you can build a lot of um, floor at the same time which i never use so um thank you for pointing out this exists and um you can find all of these controls over there one a uh, specific question you had were how to delete things. So if you place down four of these tiles and then you hold control, it changes to the X and you can delete these. Um, and the final question was about uh, how to change layout of the bed. So if you click on the bed, you can see there are the controls down here. So you can rotate with Q and E and you can change uh, the vis visuals by using um, the R key. So that's where you found them. That's for all of these um, furniture that have a change, uh, different visuals, you can change it with the R key. I think not everyone has that. So for example, the lantern, it doesn't have different visuals, so it will not show the tooltip for um, how to change it. But that's how you got it. Uh, I hope that helps. If you have any more questions, just let me know. Always happy to help. Um, let's continue. And one thing I'm still wondering is, why is this? Yeah, this is, they started to repair that. We increased the number of, um, servants right last episode yeah we now have lots of these that's great okay um but we now have six monks in the inn so that means we need more beds well, not monks they are still just um novices but we need two more what's this that's a cabinet yeah let's add that for decoration that's fine cabinet six planks why six planks that's a lot of planks Oh, that's fine. Also, oh, the eating room is way too small. Now, oh, wait a second. I don't like this layout. Let's delete all of these and put them. Like, no, I think it was fine. It was fine. Was it? I'm not sure. I think if you put it like this, we have one more space down the line, but it looks kind of weird. No, you know what? Actually, it's fine. Let me do this. We will make this bigger later. So the, um, the clergy might become one of the biggest areas we have, this whole monastery that we are building. Um, but let's stick with this, and then we need, we need more furniture. So we need another table. I would like to have them in a row, maybe something like this. Yeah, so we'll have this, build that. This will automatically deconstruct that one. Then we salvage this one. And then um, let's also salvage that and build. Where are the benches? Wooden benches right here. Let's just do. Let's just do this and then that's more or less the limit for what we can handle right here. That's seven beds and eight seats and that should that should do the trick for a while. Um, I'm just wondering, slow down the game a little bit. Maybe there is one family that can, where well, we can grab one of the persons and send to clergy too. And then we have eight. Um, I think family of seven, they are producing construction materials, so I don't want them to be less people. Um, they are currently running the inn, right? Um, wait a minute, where can you see that? Where can you see the zones that these people have? I'm confused. Shouldn't you be able to see what kind of... How many zones they have? I 
think you should, but I'm not sure. Well, they have this zone. You see what they have right here. So yeah, they're operating the inn. That's okay, but that's fine. Six people operating the inn, I think that is okay. They have lots of stuff to care for. So that's completely fine. Um, the butcher family is really big at the moment. So I think we can take one of these people, the one that's not married. These two are married, so you won the jackpot. Uh, you are our final clergy member. Um, and then I think we can already prepare the apo apothecary and the hospital. The question is, do we want to have um, the hospital um, near... Oh, I've got a brilliant idea. You know what we are going to do? Here's the deal. What we will do now is we will move... Slow down the game real quick. We will move the warehouse down to this area where we wanted to build the docks. So that's something we had in mind all the time already. And then we'll have the apothecary down here to produce the medicine right next to where the monks live. And then we'll put the hospital right in the center. Hospital right in the center? I think that makes sense. That's a brilliant idea. I hope so. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Um, so let's make... No, this is already a dirt path. We need uh, grass. Let's make this grass real quick. Um, and then we will design the warehouse zone. Where is the warehouse? Over here. I'll make all of this into the warehouse. It's not gigantic, but I think it's fine. Um, and then it needs walls, wooden walls. And I think, uh, let's start, let's start the walls right here we'll have double doors over the on this side um, and i think yeah we can make this even bigger oh we can control or oh, the shift click <laughs> i saw the shortcut for beginning to edit the zone but i forgot what it was so let's make it a long warehouse all the way down to right here okay more wooden walls all the way down to there. Um, something like like this, and then I want one entrance right here, one entrance right here, and then this should be fencing, just like this. And then for the floor, I want wooden bridge. Because um, I want this to look like, as I said, like a dock. Something like this. Um, which means I don't want a wall right here. I want it right there. Um, and I still need to edit this. So all of everything that is in the water right here doesn't need to be warehouse. But the dock area needs to be. So, yeah, let's give it a nice shape. You know what? You can just assign everything. Let's have a square. That's fine. So this is the this is now the area, and I wonder if you can build fencing around the docks to uh, kind of simulate um, handrails. I'm not sure. Maybe after it's done, we'll see. Let's speed things up. So we need a door right here. I need a door right there. And then have heavy doors here and there. And then uh, we'll use poplar floor. We can now use the trick we recently discovered. This one. And now we can make this into, into the storage area. Uh, we can also have another door right here. Not sure what we'll use that for, but uh, let's do barrels, maybe two of them right here. And down there, we can have the silos 
like this. That's fine. Um, this barrel can be act. Ah, these barrels look weird. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's let's just have uh, regular ground storage. Oh, by the way, the last update also brought um, smaller versions of the um, of the storage things. So we have the rusty bookcase for the bookcase. Uh, we have drawers for the cabinet, small shelves, small barrels, and ground depository instead of ground storage. They cost a lot less, can be built by everyone, but um, they have a little less capacity. So if you can, you can see the ground depository. It just costs one plank. Um, and can hold 300 kilograms of stuff, while the ground storage costs two planks and can hold 400. So the bang for your buck, the best you get for the ground deposit, but then, yeah, at some point you will run out of space um, to actually build the stuff. And also the bigger storages require now a carpenter. So these can be built by everyone and these can only be built by a carpenter. Um, that's fine, okay, so. Now have our nice warehouse. Um, this is the ground storage. We have the silo. So now what we need is we need a bunch of barrels. Oh, we can we can even give it a try. Let's try with the small barrels first. So we'll do a row of barrels. One, two, three. One, two, three. Barrels are mainly used for food. I think we need the most in barrels. Um, I then want to have barrel rails, two of these, a weapon rack, we cannot do weapon rack yet. Also, I think we don't need the meat hooks, uh, we'll need a ground depository, a lot of that. So maybe do something like this. Yeah, that's fine. And then have just of these things. I have a bookcase and we'll have a cabinet. And just in case, we'll have two shelves right here. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm not sure what we're going to do over here. Um, what I do know is I want to have another door right here and then fence off this area so we can store some things outside like we did over here with the barrels um, did we miss anything Let's see oh did we don't have a chest but yeah but I think what I would do is I'll have the chest which well the chests also store lots of different things so maybe having a chest is actually a good idea um, Let's remove these three and do chests instead. It's fine. Um, and then, yeah, there's the weapon rack. Which we, unfortunately, we cannot remove these, um, but we should get back the steel rod when we deconstruct it, right? I hope so. Um, let's do the weapon rack. And that's a pretty big thing. Well, we can get rid of, of these have the weapon rack sit right there, that's fine. Um, yeah, I like this. It, it might not be the most ideal layout, to be honest, but it's something, I like it. Oh no, wait, this is a heavy door, for sure. Uh, a heavy door, like that. All right, so here we go. Um, now that this is done, uh, once all of this is built, we can deconstruct the warehouse. Um, and yeah, we, we should also start with the apothecary down here. Let's go to clergy, apothecary. Yeah, as you can see, it says requires profession herbalism. So the herbalists are the ones that will be running the apothecary. Um, what's the uh, four by four, but for each apothecary, so that's not much for each herbalist. So let's do five by 10. That's already a little bit too big. Um, but I want it as near as possible 
uh, to the town. So have something like this. Um, let's go to furniture, salvage structures, salvage everything. Um, and then let's see what we need. Uh, an apothecary table. Yeah, that's the, like that's the, the workstation they use basically. Um, then we need a sh we can use small shelves. Let's build two small shelves right behind them. They need a well outside. Um, they need a cauldron. I would expect this to be right next. Tanning. Oh, we could use tanning. The tanning family. Uh, no, not yet at the moment. We will reject for quite a while until, unless it is something that we really needed, like um, um, the tailor. The tailor is the next thing on the list we need. Uh, he'll make yarn for basically everything and clothing. So in the cold room of the well, uh, let's put a chest right next to it, next to the shelves. Don't know if we need that. And, and then a bunch of homegrown pots. We can also make them outside, maybe. So let's do a layout like, like this. Let's get rid of that. And then we'll have this made into a building. Let's go with wooden walls. Just like this. Ah, it doesn't work like that. Okay, that's this is kind of annoying down here. Uh, no, do not do this. Get rid of these. Make that, and then we redo the in interior. Remove the cauldron down here. Uh, move the small shelves to here. Chest goes there. Apothecary table goes here, and then we need a door and wooden fences around here and then a fence gate like this floor uh, dirt path all the way to here and then the interior <clears throat> we'll get poplar wood here we go that's it puffer carry done um now just just wait a second let's go to production um no, it's a product, it's furniture. Uh, I need a wood. Why is a fire? Decorate is a decoration. Uh, wait a minute. Where is it? Looking for the um the thing that makes heat. Damn it, a campfire. <laughs> Where's the campfire? Must be kidding me, right? Let's do it this way. <laughs> Weird. Okay, we have this. Let's also add a campfire to here to prevent everyone from freezing. There's there's also no campfire in uh, in the well. It's a library. I'm not sure if a campfire is a good idea in here, but let's build one right here and remove the shelf. That's fine. Having a campfire right in the middle of a shelf, what could possibly go wrong? Okay, so now we have this. And then uh, let's, let's do one final thing before we wrap it up. We'll go to the clergy, uh, to herbalists. We already increased the number of herbalists and nurses to one. Because we need them as quickly as possible. Okay. Um, so now all we need to do is wait for this to be finished, wait for this to be finished. Then we can build the... We can make the warehouse into the hospital. We might even need, be able to keep keep the building. Just make it, repurpose it on the interior. That would be fine. Um, but that's something for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for the feedback on the last episodes and all the all the questions. Um, if you, as I said, if you have any more questions, just let me know. I'm always happy to answer them. And um, hope you enjoyed the series so far. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.